it's just Jada and I am coming back with another video as you guys can see I kind of have a different setup hopefully this works a little bit better I'm just using natural lighting um, just until I get into the groove of things so just to get straight into it we are doing a no foundation makeup look like a no foundation full face makeup look in preparation for summer um, you know it gets hot you know we still want to be beat but without all the sweat without all the shine so next we are going to cover some of our blemishes if you have them so I have them as you can see the little dark marks a little hyperpigmentation around my mouth under my eyes so I'm gonna color correct that however because we are not using a full coverage liquid foundation we are not gonna go in with an orange color corrector I'm gonna go in with um, I'm actually going to go in with my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 and just spot that all over. And the reason that I'm going to use my Pro Longwear Concealer is because it dries down really good, so it covers really good. And I'm not going to do under my eyes um, with that just because it's, it's not what I normally use. I use Maple in the Born This Way concealer to color correct under my eye. straight into it powder 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 like I used to be so afraid of powder I did not want to have that casket ready look I didn't want to wear it I didn't want to hear nobody advice on it if anybody's like wear powder I was like no now the first thing you want to do now listen up because this is the important part you need a setting spray not not like something in an aerosol can something that sprays out and it's gonna feel wet so I'm going to use my MAC um, Prep and Prime Spray, Fix Plus Spray. It's my favorite. It's the only setting spray that I use for this <clears throat> particular look. So you want to start with portions of your face. Like I'm going to start with the lower level first. So Get it moist. Okay? It's going to feel wet. Cool. I am going to take my powder and my Real Techniques brush or just kind of, not a huge powder brush, but a decent sized powder brush. Swirl that around real good, real good. And you are literally just going to start patting that in. It's gonna take away that shine. It's gonna take away all the moistness. I might have sprayed a little bit too much. And another thing, when you do this, when something wet and something dry mixes together, it gets darker. So it would be best for you, like if you're looking for a powder foundation, to go lighter versus to go darker. Because if you get if you go too dark, it's gonna be too dark. Basically, uh, this is this is like my holy grail i do this in the summertime i do not wear liquid foundation you will not catch sis in liquid foundation in the summer really at all but um moving forward the next thing that we're gonna do is apply our concealer i like a brighter under eye and the reason that I didn't go like all the way underneath my eye with the powder is because I'm gonna go ahead and you know apply liquid concealer. Now the color is deep olive that I'm using. And we're going to go right up under your brow. Right under. And bring it down. 
And don't worry. You can put liquid over powder. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen. Just don't put too much. Just enough to get the job done. that and then I'm gonna take a little bit of my born this way concealer to go around my mouth area it's not as yellow so it'll help color correct a little bit more so we'll just do, 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 do. there we are and I'm not gonna let that sit for a long time just because I don't want it to get too dry underneath my eye so that it dries. So you're gonna take a sponge and gonna blend that out. I like to blend out my under eyelash. Okay, now because we're kind of working with powder and liquid combined, I'm gonna take a little bit of your setting spray and spray your sponge with that before you go underneath your eye. That'll stop it from doing anything. And then I like to blend out the edges first. And normally when I do my makeup, I use all brushes, but for something like this, I like to use a beauty sponge because I don't want a heavy layer of makeup. This is just a no foundation look. So we want it to look like skin, but still have that polished, put together look. So nice outside. I move, I move my my desk and everything, and I'm so happy because this I can look out the window. <laughs> um, I'm sure y'all like, but you're happy because you can look out the window. Yes, I'm happy because I can look out the window. I live somewhere where the weather is craziness. Y'all, see that? That looks so good. So you still get the brightness and everything like a full coverage would give you, but with less product. Okay, so next, we're gonna pull back out the Fit Me powder. We're gonna pull this back out in our brush because now we're gonna go ahead and bronze and um, I'm gonna use an angled powder brush. I don't wear too much drugstore makeup, but this powder is fine for what I need it for. Okay. So it's for me, like I'd rather be darker than be too light. And then I'm gonna shape my nose just a little bit before I do my brows, but I just prefer to use my um, my dark, deep, mineralized skin finish. But you can use the Maybelline Fit Me. So you can use both of these powders to do your bronzing, but today I just really wanted to use this, but I'm gonna bronze my nose with this, the mineralized skin finish. Just to kind of give it some shape and kind of prep for my brow. So, now that that's done, we can go ahead and we can prep for our brow. I'm supposed to get a new chair today, but we'll see. Cause this chair, it makes too much noise. Okay. So this is the Beauty Crate um, eyebrow pencil. It's not out yet, but love this thing. Y'all, little secret. This primer, the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, 
You know how like now everybody's getting their brows laminated? Just use this, it'll lay them nice and flat. So, and then it helps them last all day. Because we're trying to get that longevity for summer. We don't want to get caught slipping ladies. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And just y'all know what I'm talking about. And then I take the spoolie and just kind of flatten those brows. Alright. And then once I do that, I'll take a little bit of powder. So I'll use my brush that I already use and just kind of go over that so it doesn't have a slick um, feel and my pencil will have really good pigmentation. So I'll go ahead and do my brows and then um, I'll be right back to finish the look. Okay, so I'm back with my brows on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my skin to complete the look. So, when doing this, you want to use two powders. If you're a woman of color or a man of color or someone who has like a deeper complexion, you want to use two. The reason I say that is because if you go in with just like your brightening under eye powder, sometimes it can look ashy underneath the eye. So, what I like to do is take my Fenty and Honey which is like the shade here first, just to set. And then I'm gonna use my Cover Girl in, um, what color is it? I don't know, but it's like a banana color. I'm gonna use that to brighten. So I'm gonna take my sponge, and then we're just gonna press this into the skin. And then sometimes I like to go over my brows with powder, just in case they're too dark. And to set the concealer that's um, under my eye. If I do, because sometimes I don't have concealer, but today I do because my brows are not done. So we're gonna set that as well. Next, since that's all pressed in, there's the top of that. Now you can take your banana color or your lighter color setting powder to highlight under the eye. And I'm also doing this because I'm gonna do a little eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take about that much and then I'm gonna pop that right in, in the corner. And just along the edges of my nose to give it some shape. So just right there. eyeshadow look that I'm doing is not eyeshadow it's gonna be all the skincare products that I use so we're just gonna pop that right there and we're gonna leave it and I'll be right back once I get my eyes on with the finished look okay so I am back I have my eyes finished I have my lashes on I have my Beauty Crate lip gloss on as well. Um, just to give you the details of the lip, I'm wearing the KKW lip liner in 2.5, and then I'm wearing um, the Beauty Crate lip gloss in, um, I think it's called Barbie. But yeah, <clears throat> so this is what everything looks like before. I put any setting spray on. This is just like pretty much all powder, powder, concealer, sweat proof, um, swim proof, splash proof makeup. The last thing that you need to do just to kind of seal everything in and take away a little bit of that powdery look. Sometimes I don't because I have oily skin. So in about 20 minutes, my natural oils kind of, you know, seal everything. But I'll just take some more of my Fix Plus spray. And just to give it like that skin-like finish at the end. So that, oh, I'm sorry. 
sorry guys. So that is pretty much it. This is your summer um, no makeup makeup look. I have a very, very small amount of makeup on and it is mostly just powder. So for me, that is like perfect. Just, you know, when you don't want to have like a lot of makeup on, when you don't want to feel like you have a lot of makeup on, but you want to look beat, this is it. So I'll link everything down below. You guys don't forget to hit the notification button and like, comment, subscribe. I'm really trying to get the gist of this and you know, just how to do it. I mean, YouTube is not as easy as people think. So definitely just keep on with the journey with me and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks for watching.